Hello, this is Motromain and welcome to episode 6 of the Let's Figure Out Kerbal Space Program. Uh, last episode, I did some missions, some tests uh, for returning uh, capsules with science. Uh, test failed. But I'm kind of bored, I want to try to go to the moon, so this is the new Mooner Mach 1, which is still Mach 1 because the first one I didn't launch it. Uh, I put bigger boosters on it. I don't know how much fuel I need, so the more the better. And uh, the new winglets. Uh, for science, I have only a thermometer and a barometer on it. I put a bunch of electric batteries uh, because I don't know how much time uh, the trip will take and uh, the Steputnik needs a electric charge and uh, yeah that's it I have no pilots because I clearly don't know what I'm doing and uh, I'll go for it oh should check the staging first okay it's done the staging is fixed uh, I fixed also the thrust to weight ratio uh, wasn't updated with uh, the new boosters and uh, yeah I think I should try it now. Okay, throttle up. Uh, do I need something? I have some contracts uh, I have taken because uh, they were about to expire, and I did one uh, like landed on the on the launch pad of camera. So I have nothing to check right now. Just let's go. The rocket is pretty stable, I think. Like with the uh, orbital Mark One, I was fighting uh, against the, the the tipping, and now I I'm doing nothing. Or well, maybe I'm doing too fast. Yeah, maybe I should start tipping over a bit more. Maybe 1.7 is too much. I don't know. Like thrust to weight ratio. Maybe. Okay, first staging is done. I need to get a uh, on a steeper trajectory. I think, like more horizontal. I mean, not steeper. Because I should have hit uh, the 45 degrees or 50 degrees while I was uh, at 500 meters per second and clearly I'm double that right now I should check my upper apps yeah I'm already too too high so yeah I, I kind of failed the launch uh, that's okay though I hope I still be able to control my rocket from here and uh, I try to to get an orbit from this I don't have much fuel, so maybe maybe it will be a failure. Oh, I can't control my rocket already? Oh no, maybe it's just too heavy. The winglets aren't helping me right now. Because there's no hair. I think I can see my fuel over there. Yeah. Well, wow. i completely drifting. Without SAS, I need to keep my eyes on the nav ball at every moment. I went over apoapsis. I hope it's not a problem. Uh, but I'm not sure. I don't know why it's getting up. Maybe it shouldn't. If I do this, it's even... It's worth it. Oh, now it's getting down. Oh, yeah, I'm 50 seconds. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm spending a lot of fuel for this. Uh, it doesn't seem to be... Oh, 
What am I doing? Doesn't seem to be working. Oh, maybe I should. <laughs> like if I do this, like Apopsis is getting down again. Maybe getting further than Apopsis was very bad. Oh, I have a periapsis. Okay. Okay, I'm in orbit. And I spent a lot of fuel for this. Okay, let's see. I think in order to reach the moon, uh, you need to have a 90 degree angle between the moon and the point you're aiming. So if I'm aiming over there, I should fire when I'm here. And try to get an apoapsis above the, the the moon orbit, the moon's orbit. Okay, uh, it should be fine like this. Oh, I can't control my rocket from this place. Come on, the moon is up there. Yeah, so I need to wait until I have a line. Ah, I have a line. So let's go for it. I need to go. Grade over there, and I'd like to be stable so I don't have to watch this over and over. Oh, maybe I'll have it. Uh, it might be a little too close, so I'll throttle up just. A bit more, yeah. Okay, I have some fuel left. Uh, maybe it will be enough without taking the moon uh, into account. Uh, I could re enter by getting to apoapsis with just uh, a minimum amount of fuel because my speed will be very low over there. So, just a bit of a deceleration uh, will get me into the atmosphere, but with the, the moon. Uh, getting close to me, uh, it will change my trajectory. So I don't know what will happen yet. Okay. Uh, not sure how much time it will take to go over there. I have a timer here. I had a mission. Uh, no, I'm not sure. In fact, I think I can get back to the tracking station right now. So I'll do it and just check if any mission is about to expire to take it. Ok, no, all the missions proposed to me are more than one day uh, before expiring, so I think I can I can warp time a bit. I'll get back to Muna Mach 1 and we'll warp until... Uh, I'm not sure how many hours is a day. It's not like a, a goal or it's game over if I fail, but I'd like to do as many missions as possible. Am I too far? I can't control anything right now. I should have line of sight over something, at least. Uh, I have an antenna, which is not deployed. But I thought the... I took it just in case. Oh, I cannot... I can't do anything. Can I throttle? No. Uh, I don't know if I can stage or not, but I will try it. Okay, so I can't do anything. Maybe, can I look? Data? I have no electric charge! Oh come on, I had four batteries. And I can't throttle up. So yeah, it's done. I can't get the science, I can't do anything. Maybe the craft will get back? To carry in on its own? But I doubt it. Okay, let's warp a bit more until one day. When it's one day, I want to do other missions. Ah, oh, okay. One day is six hours. Uh, okay, but at least I know I have enough uh, fuel in this to do the mission. So next time I can remove the stay putnik and put the pilot in its place so yeah mission failure but i got some info information from this uh, let's get back to the space center 
and see if any mission needs to be taken and maybe done because uh, it might be a lot 5 hours, 2 hours, 2 hours, 2 hours ok, I should take all of these ok, I took every mission that uh, expired that was expiring uh, before one one day uh, so I have 7 mission which is my max so I should do some mission right now uh, there are some easy ones this one uh, I just have to put an engine and go go into the water the other one might be harder so I'll do this one first and uh, we'll see ok, just a small rocket with uh, the part I have to to test on the top I couldn't put a decoupler below it so I did it this way uh, all I have to do is go into the water uh, it shouldn't be a problem really water is very close I should get some altitude because I'll be too close to the ground and uh, my speed would be too high maybe so yeah I want to avoid uh, crashing down I have a pilot in this maybe I shouldn't have put pilot on this ah uh, it won't get up ok this should be fine I can launch the parachute messed up my staging ok ok and the contract is completed ok so a th second mission I'd like to try because I'm curious I want to do a test and it requires me to go to space I want to test a, a layout uh, to get science back from space again yeah it's this one I have to get a very high speed at uh, a certain attitude and I think while re-entering atmosphere I'm getting these uh, kind of numbers so I take orbiter 1 which should be able to into orbit and re-entering I just remove this and I put a science junior on it and uh, I have to test a heat shield so I put a heat shield on it and uh, I hope it will be right. So let's see, maybe I'm going too fast with this. Like 1.7 was too much before. But I'm staging these boosters uh, way, way faster than uh, the big ones. So maybe it's okay. And it's kind of what the, the tutorial tells you to use. So. I'm going with this. Uh, I don't have any pilot because I don't have any command, so it's okay. Oh, staging. Oh, but I still have the the crappy fins. Uh, I have to change this, and I'm just I'm just thinking about something. Uh, the command pad has a a reaction wheel of strength five. What does this have? It has nothing, so it cannot turn. And I don't think I have a small inline reaction wheel, so I guess I'll have to add it. It has the same strength, so uh, take this. So it should behave the same way as uh, the previous rocket. And I change the fins. Yeah no SAS oh, I'm chipping again, yeah I forgot about this ok but I can correct my trajectory in an easier manner now can I? yeah I think I can slide this so the rocket uh, will be less controllable I won't have enough strength but the sensibility would be way better. I'm not gaining any speed. Oh come! 
Is it because I'm turning? Am I doing something not right? Maybe I turn too much. Like I'm at uh, 50 degrees, but I'm not at uh, 500 meter per second. So maybe it wasn't so good after all. I think I'm pretty much out of uh, the atmosphere. Just the rocket is tipping over a lot. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's way harder to control now. Ah, oh, come on, I'm too... Oh, the... Yeah, maybe I'm, I'm still in the atmosphere because I have trouble... I, I'm fighting against the rocket. I put the sensitivity down a bit. And the problem is I want to go into the map to see what's happening, but I can't look away from the nav board. Uh, where is my fuel? Ah oh, no, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, come on. I'm doing crappy stuff right now. Yeah, so I still don't have the hang on uh, the correct trajectory to, to orbit. I don't think. Okay. My trajectory is uh, pretty close to an orbit, I think. Uh, maybe better than last time. I don't know if I used too much fuel or not. Uh, but I'm losing speed, so yeah, I should try to control the rocket. Ah, oh, come on, it's heating up. Maybe. Did I lose anything? Yeah, so I'm uh, I'm way too low, and that's kind of a problem. So my Apoapsis should, yeah, it's getting lower and lower, so I want to correct this. And the Steputnik is all red. Can I see the temperature? No, I cannot. And it's still... Oh, I can't even fight it? Oh yeah, I, I lost control, okay. So I need to wait a bit until I can do, I can do more. I still don't have control over it. Right, you can see the Moon or Mark 1 over there, which is nice. Uh, it still isn't close enough from the Moon. I'm kind of worried. I would like to get control before the apoapsis to avoid uh, wasting fuel like I did with uh, this craft. Well, it seems I have a signal right here, yeah. So let's hurry. Okay, I'm in orbit. So I don't remember how I did it last time. I'd like to re-enter <laughs> somewhere where I have control of my rocket. So maybe over there. I think uh, the oh no, the space center is here. Maybe I don't want to control it. Maybe I want to be in daylight to uh, to, to see what's happening because. The goal of this test is first to test the heat shield, but uh, also to test my my science setup to see if I can get it back to the planet. So I shouldn't, if it's stable, I shouldn't have to control it. Well, so I want to get down where there's light, so I wait until I'm over there and get down on this side of the planet. Okay, let's go retrograde. And it should be good. Uh, it's a shame to stage uh, this amount of fuel. I didn't have that much fuel last time. So maybe I was more efficient. But there's definitely a way to be even more efficient. Like, like going a bit higher and avoiding getting slowed down by uh, the atmosphere so long. I think. Okay, I'm inside the atmosphere. Oh, <laughs> I can't control the craft. I should have staged beforehand. I think I can still do it now, right? Yeah. Even if I don't have the control of my rocket, I can do this. So I just have to click on this and run test when I meet 
the conditions, which are these conditions. So I don't dare uh, time warp inside the atmosphere because I tend to break stuff if I remember correctly. So what I'll do is just wait and uh, get to you when uh, something happens. Okay, I'm close to getting it. Uh, I'm afraid I will lose too much speed, but no, it should be okay. No, my speed isn't good. Why is that? Run test. I'm... I have a correct speed. Oh, not on the surface. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. It's okay. But the craft seems stable. Oh, I didn't even observe the material bay. Well, I can get something from the upper atmosphere at least. What is heating up? The heat shield is not enough? At least uh, the stuff is uh, stable. So it's good. Uh, this means I can, bring, I can bring back uh, a science junior from space. Uh, if I need any science without uh, upgrading the, the Kerbal Center. So yeah, I'll wait until the end of the mission. And maybe... Uh, will I do it again? I don't know. I should... What did I do wrong? Uh, I didn't have enough speed. So maybe I should get uh, a tougher re-entry. Like getting lower straight away. So I'll enter the atmosphere in a in a steeper trajectory and I shouldn't lose all that speed. Oh <laughs> I'm just thinking. I don't have any parachutes <laughs> of this. <laughs> oh man, I'm stupid. Okay. So one more reason to try it again. Is to see if it's still stable with uh, parachutes. Okay, so I want to do this mission, so I will try it uh, without. I change some things. I will dump all of this, and I'll put a command back. I, I tested my uh, my little setup, and it's kind of working. But if I go on a steeper descent, uh, the Science Junior was already overheating, I think. So if I get faster into the atmosphere. I'm afraid it will explode, and I don't want to waste any more money. So each try is 10,000. So I'll use a regular command pad. I put parachute on it. Uh, I need a heat shield. Is there? Yeah, heat shield is here. Uh, maybe I should put some drop shields on it, just in case, because I'll be going faster. And with the heat shield, uh, the MK-16 parachute might not be enough. And who will pilot it? Uh, probably Jebediah. I think if I orbit, I should get more experience and gain a level. Okay, I'll have little less uh, burn time because the command pod is heavier. But it should be right. Okay, so I, re I redid the tutorial to get into orbit and they stop chipping really fast in it. Do I have SAS? Yes. Okay, I'll do it with SAS. So they stop chipping at 60 meters per second. Right now. And they go pretty f oh come on. Like getting pretty steep angle right away, and they stay at 50 degrees around 50 degrees for a while. So, I'll try to do it the same way. Okay, so I'll stay at 50 for a bit should watch my apoapsis. Oh, it's pretty low right now. 
I think I should stay prograde for a while. Uh, it seems worse than last time. Maybe. Uh, so maybe I should have a uh, turn sooner or faster. I don't know. Like I think to. I remember the my trajectory was rounder. So I have to burn lots of fuel to get it to orbit now. Anyway, let's warp for a bit. Okay, it will be enough, I think. So, do I need science? Like, did I get a crew report already from space? Probably, yeah. So, all there's left to do is to find the spot, decelerate, and re-enter the atmosphere. Okay, so now, time to slow down. I would slow until my periaps is uh, around 25,000. Well, get a little bit too much, but hope to be hope it will be all right. Uh, last time I did forty uh, kilometers, so I hope I'll have enough speed with this. Okay, I'm approaching the correct altitude. I kept the weight on me to gain some speed because relative to the surface, I wasn't. Very at the correct, uh, the correct speed, and should be enough. Yeah, run test. Okay, mission down. That's pretty nice. Uh, I just have to see if the drop shoot will be enough to slow me down. Uh, in the tutorial, they they tell you that uh, with the heat shield, the MK16 will not be enough. Just have to test this. I hope Jebediah survived, and I'll get back to you for the next mission. Okay, mission successful, uh, everything went well. Uh, I didn't need the drop shoots, but it was kind of close, maybe. So just for safety, uh, next time I'll use drop shoots with, uh, with this kind of setup. Like the MK16 is I'll consider it only good for the common pad and uh, nothing else. Okay, let's recover this. And Jebedaya is now level 1. I don't know what it does. Let's see, in the astronaut complex. Uh, okay, stability assist, you already had. Uh, prograde, retrograde, hold. Uh, it might be good, I think you push a button and uh, it will keep your your direction, uh, prograde or retrograde, and full vessel control without cabinet access. I don't know what it means. I already had full control, right? Without cabinet access? I mean, there are times where when I didn't have any uh, contact, like communication, and didn't felt like I couldn't do stuff. So I don't know. Okay, and I'm back to the Muno one, uh, which I can do anything with. I just want to warp time and see how much of a, what will happen. Like how much Delta V I would need not to crash or to return to Kerbin before sending another another rocket, because the next rocket uh, will have no protobodyne and it will have a pilot in it, because I don't see how we can fit uh, enough electric charge to control this until the end of the, of the mission. So, yeah, let's warp a bit. Oh, and I'll crash directly on it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what's my speed? Ah, oh, I cannot. Okay. I'm 46 meters per second. Yeah, I, I don't know what kind of information I can get from this. I would probably need a lot of, uh, of Delta V to correct this. Like, I'm not sure burning prograde would help me. That's where, uh, well, for this it doesn't matter because I lose the craft anyway. I can't control it anymore. 
but if I had a pilot, I would like to have a maneuver node available to save him with a minimum amount of fuel. I don't have much fuel left, and I don't know if he, if what I have is enough to survive. So yeah, I don't feel like I have enough information from this uh, to do another mission. I'll have to think about it. Uh, compare. If I remove the drone, maybe I could get a bit more fuel. And maybe I could get a better encounter as well. Like, I don't know, wait for the moon to be a bit more advanced. Yeah, let's get back to the vehicle assembly building and see what I can do. Okay, so here's what I was thinking. Uh, this is the new Mooner Mark 1. I added some batteries, uh, just in case. Well, not just in case, I hope it will be enough uh, without the pro the Buddha dine. And uh, I removed both of the lateral parachutes uh, to put on a um, MK-16 one. And with uh, I had one part left, I added a, a fuel tank on the lower stage. Uh, I hope it will save me some fuel and get me some Delta V, just in case. Uh, but I, I don't want to to do this mission right now. I think the the test showed uh, that I need I need nodes. I need maneuver nodes uh, to do this, so maybe if I had maneuver nodes to get the encounter with the moon, I wouldn't have, uh, like, the rocket wouldn't have been in this situation, on a direct uh, crash trajectory. So, to upgrade it, I need 300,000, and I only have uh, 220, and I'd like some money left after I upgrade this. Uh, in case I paid something and I need to do some rockets so I need a hundred K before I can upgrade this so I have to farm some missions I will do all of these missions and maybe I'll have other one uh, ferry VIP uh, they don't give enough money I feel so I'll have to see because three of them are, are this so I might have to do them I should be alright I killed one last time, but uh, like I, I tested it. It would work. It was just a staging mistake. And this one, uh, I need to get uh, a fuel engine in a, an escape trajectory out of Kerbin. I'm not sure I can do this uh, with the amount of fuel I'm able to launch to space, but maybe like in one day on two hours, I will have to take the mission, so I try it uh, probably with uh, the Mooner, the Mooner Mark One. Uh, I don't know what the Hunt Liquid Fuel Engine is, but because <laughs> it's called Hunt, uh, it's probably a small one. Yeah, maybe I'll have enough. I don't know. I'm not sure. So next episode will be about doing these missions, well, mostly these. Uh, it will be a quick. Montage just show the rocket, but not every flight. So yeah, uh, this is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.